introducing vlogs. So in this vlog today, we're talking about fish scale geckos, or are they fish scale geckos? So I apologize, I accidentally deleted the unboxing video, but what we have here is what I thought was Gecko Lepis Maculata. At least that's what I purchased. But what turned out to be was Gecko Lepis Tipica. Here is a video of the two older species. I purchased three. I did not know what size they would be when they came in. Fish scale geckos are believed to range in size from six to seven inches. These guys, on the other hand, I found out they're pretty much adults as this size you see right here around three inches, three to four inches maybe. And these guys right here are AKA Grandiers Gecko, Grandiers Gecko, but that's like their common name, but they're not fish scale geckos, but they are of the family. So some people might call them fish scale geckos. They still somewhat fall under that category, but they're a different species but they do have the same type of scales and breakaway skin, just a smaller form. But these species both are Madagascan species. They come from the warmer tropical areas, and these guys, they thrive pretty well in the setup that I have set up for them. So right now I'm just kind of like observing them, let them be natural. This is what they do during the daytime. They're a nocturnal species, but they are kind of diurnal, so it's like, they do do a lot of moving around in the daytime where they don't have anybody looking at them. So these guys, they're pretty active and they're pretty cool. So these are like the quarantine setups I had them in. And these guys, I really did like them. And I later figured out like how to sex them. But in the beginning, I did not know because it was a new species for me, which I was excited about. And it turned out pretty well. So I had the two older ones in there and then I had the younger one in a terrarium by itself so it can catch up in size. But this is just what I would do. I would just observe them and they would mind their own little business, but they kind of prefer like bushes and grass because it's more of a ground type species than an arboreal species. Clean out the old paper towel and stuff that was in there since they've done a successful month quarantine. Looking good. I got some uh, cocoa fiber. I have to do some uh, Spanish moss in there. Usually I use sphagnum, but Pretty much everything I'm trying with these guys are experiments. Not to sound mean or cruel, but I just want to try this and like see how they handle that because if they're like the uh, leaf tail geckos, the smaller species, they love bushy type areas. So that should simmer some bushes out there where they're from. And then I still had a plant here, another plant, some other sticks with fake plants on there. The guys are in here and this right here. It's a little colony group of some real tiny uh, earthworms and isopods that I've been growing for a while, for a couple weeks, almost a month. I'm gonna go ahead and use this and put this in here with these guys and seed them. Cause I was gonna put them in a larger setup, but they seem to be doing fine. They're actually gaining weight since being here, like the scales and everything look good. So I'm just pretty much make this a I don't say forever home or a temporary home until the baby gets a lot bigger. Then when it's three of them, I'll upgrade them to a larger setup. But for now, we'll go ahead and set these guys up and they're still in quarantine for another 30 days. And then we'll check back with them and I'll see what the weight looks like on the little one. And if it's like half the size of them, then I'll put them together. But right now, that's what these guys look like. Looking pretty good. Very alert, very active. I don't know how to really sex them too much. I'm kind of guessing. But I'm, I'm thinking this guy right here is like a male. You can kind of see the light. Yeah, I got kind of, all kinds of DVDs in the background. Yeah. Hold on, give me a sec. I don't know if there's a light. Might be a little acorn from I don't know, look at this belly on this one. I love these guys. But, so that's the size of that one. 
Yeah, I thought they got a lot bigger. I think they do get a little big, but I'm not really too sure. Yeah, I do recycle my containers. This is a container from a gecko I got from Northern Gecko. But yeah. So I'm thinking this one right here might be a female. And I think the other one might be a male. They're so alert. I love these little dudes. But I'm gonna say I think it might be a female because with the belly, I don't know if those are eggs developing or what. I really don't see like little bulges on the bottom of this one. Like, you kind of see two little bulges on the bottom of the other one. So, if it's two little eggs, man, that's dope. I think those are eggs. So, yeah, so I think I had a successful pair. So, with that being said, if this is a successful pair, I might just leave a baby alone and set the baby up different with those guys set up. So, where is it at? Okay. So I got this little medicine bottle type deal. I'm gonna set this up in here so it can be like a little cage so they can lay eggs in there if they wanna lay eggs in there. And we can go from there. And I'll keep you guys posted and updated on the fish scale geckos. So about a year after I filmed these, I did end up donating these guys to the Oklahoma City Zoo to add to their gecko species collection. And they were a pair, but I did send a trio there. And they did end up leaving me a surprise before they left in the cage. So here's the surprise they left me. Just one day I looked in a cage and I saw a baby looking back at me. <laughs> 